This is CNC World, a new perspective. Throughout military history, not just humans, but animals have also gone to war. They have served in wars that man started, and their loyalty is scarcely mentioned. To mark the sacrifices animals have made for mankind, a monument for animals who have died in war was unveiled this past Saturday. On a chilly November morning in Ottawa, veterans and government officials came together to honor the war sacrifices made by those who couldn't speak for themselves. Laureen Harper, wife of Prime Minister Stephen Harper and a confessed cat lover, was the honorary patron of the Animals in War project. She was joined by members of parliament and senators in the unveiling of three plaques and a sculpture designed to commemorate the work done by animals in war. Second World War veteran Michael Warren said he had developed a personal connection to animals during wartime. Dad was in the uh, Royal Horse Artillery in the First War and he was a horseman uh, and um, he um, was able to ride two horses a foot on each one and take small jumps and he also got 25 cents a day extra for breaking wild horses for the service. A variety of animals were used during wartime. Mules carried supplies and artillery, horses hauled field guns, carrier pigeons delivered messages, and dogs worked as messengers, medical assistants, mine detectors, and in search and rescue. As you will hear throughout today's ceremony, mules, carrier pigeons, cats, dogs, camels, elephants, and even glowworms, to name just a few, have served steadfastly alongside Canadian soldiers over the years. Animals in War project leader and veteran Lloyd Swick said that he was very pleased that the Confederation Park, only about two blocks from the National War Memorial, was chosen as the site location. At the dawn of the last century, Canada sent 50,000 horses off to fight in the Boer War. Thus, it is fitting that this morning's unveiling does take place next to the Boer War monument. The sculptures feature the work of Canadian artist and sculptor David Clendining and are sponsored by the Harper government. Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson proclaimed the day War Animals Day for the city, presenting an official proclamation to project leader Lloyd Swick. Whereas War Animals Day is a time to remember all species of war animals and pay tribute to the enduring bond they shared with the soldiers they served alongside with, Whereas our citizens and visitors to our city are encouraged to learn more about the and honor the war animals, their sacrifice and their invaluable contribution they made to helping shape Canada's military history. Aside from the event, the Department of Veterans Affairs Canada has declared November 5th to the 11th as Veterans Week across Canada, a time to celebrate the contribution of past and present veterans. Canada now joins the UK in choosing to officially commemorate the actions of animals in war. In November 2004, Princess Anne, a horse fancier, helped dedicate the Animals in War Memorial in Hyde Park, London. This is CNC World, a new perspective.